Okay, now that you've figured out how to set up your round, add team members, and add investors to your board, let me show you how to use the actual CRM functionality of this. So as you can see here, it's all very drag and drop. Let's go back to this populated board. And essentially, what you want to be doing is moving all these cards through the stages of your funnel. This Think of this like a sales funnel. Uh, you're identifying a list of targets and prospects, you're qualifying them, you're getting introduced or reaching out to them. Uh, hopefully those introductions or outreach lead to pitch meetings, um, pitch meetings lead to diligence, and ultimately you're trying to drive all these, these investors into you know, either the committed or the no column. Ideally it's the committed column. Um, it's all very drag and drop, right? So as you're meeting with and making progress with these investors, just drag and drop their cards across the board. And practically speaking, the way I like to work on this is I'll come in and I'll just work on my contacted list. These are folks I've been introduced to or otherwise contacted. And I kind of just look at each one. What can I do to nudge Brad Feld into setting up a pitch meeting, right? And likewise with Tim Draper, I've had a meeting with him. I pitched, gave a pitch. What is he waiting on? Is he waiting on customer references? Is he waiting on some feedback? Uh, is he, are we setting up a second meeting? What can I do to nudge that along into diligence and term sheet discussions, right? And that's kind of practically how you work on your fundraise. That's how you work your funnel. Let me show you a few of the CRM features of this. I'm going to jump to a different board. So uh, again, customize the columns as, as you like. Um, in my own board, I like to create a column for where I collect my connectors. That's just a personal preference. I was, I've also made a few personalized columns like this qualified and mapped. This is kind of a holding pin for uh, investors I've identified as a good fit. And mapped means I've figured out a good person to ask for the introduction. Um, let's just open up a card so you can see the actual CRM stuff in here. So Michael Walsh is the target investor. It's a good practice to assign an owner. If you're working on your fundraise with co-founders or advisors, uh, every investor should have an owner. Let's give him Hilda to follow up with. And that owner means it's a single person to really take responsibility and drive that investor to a, a yes or no decision. Okay, so some of the um, CRM stuff. You can add notes about that investor here. All your activities. Emails, calls, meetings, tasks, uh, other. Let's say you set up a meeting with Michael. All right, give it a date. Time is optional. Duration is optional. If you want, you can push it out to the calendar of your choice so it shows up on your calendar with an alert. And then I just add that activity and it becomes added to the activity stream. You can also attach files, right? What is the pitch deck or term sheet that you sent Michael? Add it here so it becomes part of this record. And then maybe my favorite part is you can add, you can connect your email so that all email threads with this person get automatically pulled in. These are both the emails that you send to the investor and the responses from the investor to connect your email. Let's show you that real quick. Go over to settings and it's simply under integrations. While I'm here, once you've connected your email, there are two options. You can share emails across the team. We call this high visibility fundraising. If you're raising money with uh, co-founders or other people and you want your entire team involved in the fundraise to be able to see everyone else's email conversations with investors, turn that on here. So back to the board, um, and I showed you what to do with Michael, uh, all the functionality there. One last thing here is this to-do list and metrics tab. Let's take a look at that. So what this is, is a list of every upcoming and or overdue activity across all investors. This is kind of your macro view of your fundraise, everything that's happening, all the things that have to be done, who the owner is, who the investor is. You can see some basic metrics about your round, how much you have committed, uh, total number of investors added, all that good stuff. 
and we will soon be adding an activity feed here. You can also add activities from this specific section if you wish. All right, so that's the CRM functionality of your round. If you have any questions, reach out to us, info at foundersuite.com.